Hello everybody, welcome to my book review. Today I'm thrilled to be talking about How We Disappeared by Xing Xing Li. This is a gorgeous book that was published earlier this year. It is on a difficult subject matter. It's on Japanese comfort women. Um, but it is, however, a subject that needs to be tackled. And what Xing Xing has achieved in this book is to take this really traumatic and difficult area and novelize it in a way that is both tender and dramatic and true, but fair both to the reader and to the women who endured the unendurable. If you don't know what the term comfort women means, it is a unfortunate and difficult term given to the women that were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese army during the Second World War. As the Japanese invaded and overtook much of the Asia mainland from Manchuria and westwards, they took women from the villages and towns that they invaded and destroyed and took them into sexual slavery for the benefit of the Japanese soldiers so that they could have an enforced brothel of sex slaves just waiting for, their, for them for, for their relief. Not good um, and a war crime in itself, of course. And it's interesting that this subject has been at the highest levels politically over the past decade. It was a subject that was not talked about for a long time. Um, one of the uh, main interest points in this book is how Xing Xing investigates the trauma and the silence and the shame that, that is forced on the women after the war stops and uh, has they, have, have, they have to live their lives without any public reference or um, apology for what they endured. They must, their shame and their silence compels them to be quiet about what they endured. However, recently these women have, um, as they have got older, there have been uh, greater pressure groups on them and there has been a push to get apologies and reparations from Japan, a subject that still remains in discussion. However, Jing Jing takes this really difficult subject and turns it into a very interesting novel. We are in Singapore in 1942 and a young teenage girl, Wang Di, is captured uh, by the Japanese soldiers who take over and destroy her village. She is taken into a brothel where she is taken under the wing of a Madame Sato and all the young girls who've been arrested from the area are compelled to work in sexual slavery for the Japanese soldiers for the remaining three years of the war. A difficult, tr difficult uh, narrative, obviously, and one that is difficult for the reader and for the writer. But I found Xing Jing executed this beautifully because the violence isn't in what Xing Jing writes, it's in what she chooses not to write. She really respects the women and the reader by not being gratuitous about the abuse and the rape, but instead being explicit by being implicit. She also cleverly weaves in another part, another thread of the story, just to keep it buoyant, just to keep the reader engaged, because otherwise it would be too heavy. She weaves in another story set in contemporary Singapore, where a young boy who's 12 years old stumbles upon a family secret, which brings together his story with that of Wing Wang Di. What this young boy discovers is his grandmother dies, and she whispers a deathbed confession that... Her son, this young boy's father, may have been kidnapped by her and may not be her natural born son. So this young boy takes it upon himself to investigate whether his grandmother's dying confessions were just the slurred words of a woman, a confused woman on her deathbed or whether there is some truth. And this brings him into the path of Wang Di, an older Wang Di, a woman who has endured with the silence and shame of, li of her known history as a comfort woman and how it has affected her life, affected her psychology, affected her relationships. How We Disappear is a wonderful title actually because it refers to not the physical disappearance but how our personalities, how who we are, are forced to disappear just to survive. Either compelled by society through silence and shame such as Wang Di or whether people um, are so ashamed of what they have, that shame is deep in themselves, whether it is men or it is women, that they suppress what they did or experienced in the past just to survive the present day. And so we're left with not shells of human beings as we walk the earth, but people who are multifaceted, but who we are not allowed to see their multiplicity and their complexities. 
Uh, this is, and so this wonderful secondary story of the contemporary tale of Wang Ding, contemporary in modern day Singapore, and this 12 year old boy who stumbles on him, uh, or stumbles on her as he tries to piece together his grandmother's um, alleged story. It is, it gives it levity. It gives it levity. It also gives this depth because otherwise this book could be just a very traumatic single thread narrative drive of one woman, which would be if we stuck through with Wang Di all the way through, we'd never see how other people see her or we wouldn't see enough. And through the eyes of this young 12 year old boy, we can actually see Wang Di as an adult and see how what we know about her, what we read about her from her past in the Second World War has manifested itself. What did her life become after the Second World War? Because these women's lives don't stop being interesting just because they stop being sexually abused and assaulted and I think Jing Jing brings that out beautifully it's a huge testament to the women who endured the unendurable like I said and I think Jing Jing has done a wonderful job with this book I would recommend this book wholeheartedly but I admit I read it in about two or three chunks because there are a couple of occasions where I just thought I'm gonna to have to put this book down so it's not a book that you would necessarily drink a hot chocolate to and cozy up with. That is not this book. This is a book that demands your attention, of course, but it is one that you should go in with respect and acknowledge that you'll probably have to put it down a couple of times and come back the other night. But I absolutely adored this book, How We Disappeared by Xing Xing Li.